In this lesson, we're gonna learn how to complain using present continuous with the word always. So there are some examples here, but the first example is formed by with a simple present. So. I wrote this because I want to show the difference between these sentences and this sentence. So, if we use the always with simple present tense, like these examples, he always gets up late, he always takes a bus to school. So, in these sentences, we just mention about his daily activities or habits so here there's no complaint we just giving a we just telling something about his daily life but let's see this example he's always getting up late so here we're using Simple present continuous tense, and of course we add ing to the verb, and always. Here we have a complaint. We say he's always getting up late. We don't like it. Let's see the other example. You are always leaving your dirty socks on the floor. I'm tired of it. So. I don't want him to leave his dirty socks on the floor. So that's my problem. And that's why I'm telling him that he's always leaving his dirty socks on the floor. So we're complaining that. And I'm saying, I'm tired of it. I don't want it. And here, there's another example. You are always borrowing money from me. Why don't you find a job? So there's a complaint here too. Of course, when we saying these sentences, when complaining about something, of course, uh, the tone of the our how we say it's important. So we just little you know angry. We say, "You are always borrowing money from me. Why don't you find a job?" You know, there's a here some angry. Let's go to next example. She's always calling me at midnight. Here you are always complaining about your job. So some somebody's complaining about his job. Always complaining about his job. Also, I don't like it. I don't like him to complain. So I'm saying. You are always complaining about your job. Please stop complaining. So if you complain, just change your job or don't talk. Please stop complaining. You are always coming to class late. Don't do that again. So here's then another example. Maybe this person is a teacher saying to his students, "You are always coming to class late." Don't do that again. So between simple present tense and present continuous tense with the always word, the main difference is the simple present tense. We just mention about somebody's daily activities, habits, but the other sentences we are complaining about something. We are complaining about something that we don't like. 